Howard, let's start with some context about how device regulation developed in the U.S. Can you walk us through the essential parts of the history of the FDA with respect to device regulation? Sure, Paul, I'd be happy to do that. Actually, um, Congress created FDA in 1906 to deal with problems in the food industry, safety um, issues and, and the safety of the food supply in the United States. Originally, the agency had very limited authority over any um, products, uh, but in 1938, there were a number of deaths that caused Congress to give FDA more authority with respect to drug safety. Um, drugs required approval um, for safety before they could be marketed. But that proved also not to be quite enough as in 1962, Congress again expanded FDA's authority over drugs to provide that drugs had to be um, found efficacious before they could be put on the market as well. There was no specific regulation for devices until 1976. Prior to that time, FDA could take a device off the market if it proved to be unsafe, but they didn't have any authority to prevent devices from reaching the market. So there were products at the time that were um, so-called so cancer cures that use colored lights to cure cancer, and if FDA would try to take that product off the market, the manufacturers would just change the colors and go back on the market again. So in 1976, Congress enacted amendments to the Food and Drug Act um, to cover medical devices, and, and Congress said in those amendments that um, devices like drugs had to be cleared before they could be uh, allowed to go onto the market. The law also contained a number of specific rules with respect to compliance for medical devices as well. So the, the challenge um, was uh, for Congress and for FDA, um, once the device law was passed, um, to, to figure out how to regulate products that could range from things as simple as bandages to very complex products like dialysis machines or pacemakers. When the law was enacted, Congress set up three classes of products according to risk. Additionally, they set up three pathways to market based on risk, for example, um, products that were exempt or products that could be shown to be substantially equivalent and marketed under a 510K or products that required approval for safety and effectiveness and that required a PMA. Um, the, the device center, or the Center for Devices and Radiological Health, as it's now officially called, was set up to manage and oversee this process. 